Um, here's our last curated story before I let Bodie go loose on on uh, Newsfire Weird. I've I've actually been looking at it, and there's really not much today. I I, I picked some of the best ones actually. Then let's just keep going with your stuff. Courtney Cor Kardashian to face Kim in Ultimate Cheek Off. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Courtney Kardashian is going to face Kim in an Ultimate Cheek Off. Steve Miller Miller, is this something that you would like take a bet in? Like, uh, like who, who would win? The, who, who has the nicest bud is basically. With Kim facing... I would shy away from betting on anything where the outcome is dependent on judges. So things like figure skating, gymnastics, where it's scored boxing, by judges. Boxing, uh, scored, scored MMA. By judges. Yeah, I, I very rarely bet on that. Bet bet on any sort, anything like that either. Yeah, uh, because the good thing about baseball and football is there's no judges involved except for the referees and the umpires. Yeah, uh -oh. uh, and and oh, they, they do work the NBA. Boom, yeah. boom, and the NBA refs do affect a lot of games. Yeah, it, well, because it breaks up the pacing, and that's what that's the main determinant in, in point totals is the pace of the game. Right. Yep. So, so before I, I, I'm going to analytics, kids, that's, get them on Lozilla. There you go. Get them on Lozilla. Get them while you can. I'm going to play a brief uh, video here, which is uh, it's uh, this is from Splash News, and this is actually a different butt war, and this is a butt war that was between Courtney and Chloe. So we're going to play uh, like a minute long. Make way, people. The Kardashians are Love back the with another butt war. Woohoo! Full on butt war. This, this time this on Courtney Snapchat. And Chloe. Yep, you heard that right. So, sister, Courtney posted this to Butterful Pigs, terming it as Butterful Parade. Hmm. As you can see, contestant number one and contestant number two match. posed in the this, same this way, quality. showing off their booty, right and the netizens had a clear winner too. Coco, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my. And they in said, the speech, we bet there's a paragraph on they, Jim they, they and Squad. They bet it on Chloe, but actually, no, am she I lost right in or the am end. Am I right? Because now but Courtney's hey, on the rise. Let's give it up for Courtney here too for that fat bod pose the three kids. And there you go. Anyway, do you have a booty pick? I would right, love that's... to bet on his prison props. If if I could bet on whether someone would be will be in prison, particularly libertarian activists, Ooh. particularly the more egomaniacal ones, uh, uh, I would uh, love, absolutely love to bet on those. Who 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 would you say is like if there's like a race for back to prison? Who's number one in that in that position right now? Probably Kanye. No, no, libertarians. Do they have to be celebritarians or any any libertarian activist? Libertarian. Uh, uh, it generally helps if if there's if there's of the more celebritarian bent. But the, what's best is to look look for people who've got events where the point is they get arrested. Where like uh, Nick, Nikki Poe or whatever his name is, yeah, Mr. A, Florida a, Man. A so there, we have this interesting bet. It, and it's not for money. It's 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 uh, for pride. People are betting, people are betting push ups. It's yeah. for pride uh, over whether he or this other comedian who's also in Philadelphia, who's a serial offender and is constantly in and out of jail, will do more total days in jail by the end of 2018. It's the Mike Proto versus N.A. Poe push up prop. Wow. Uh, and wow. O o only gambling addicts come up with shit like that. Like, yo, will you do a number of push ups equal to the distance <laughs> of days in jail done by the end of 2018 by this random person uh, versus this other person they don't know, but both of us do know? Do you sign a contract or is it a gentleman's agreement? No, because I'm not in a relationship with Adam Kokesh and I don't have to fuck him two times a week. So, no, I don't have to sign a contract. Uh, uh, what makes you think you don't have to do that? I don't. That, did you read the contract? Because I, I get I get I get bossed around by a uh, Vietnamese Asian man every day. So yeah. Okay, so that's that's, that's pretty much the that's, contract. That's all the abuse you need. So we're yeah, we're, we're, we're we're looking right now at at, at Courtney's uh, uh, back end there, and uh, uh, Bodie, I know that you could see it, and I know that Steve Miller Miller. You can, can. see it from space. I think yeah, she I, wins. I think she, she wins. wins. I think she wins. I think she's the winner here. So, Kourtney Kardashian's dishing up something new in con, and we all say is, and, and wait, all we say, all we can say is, I don't know what this means, Yune Abendijima is barely bringing out her best? I don't know what the, 
Is that like the photographer or something? I don't know for this. I don't know what this means. Yeah, how are you not up to date on the best ass photographers? I'm not. I I'm seriously deficient in that department. I have to I have to go back and do more research. So apparently Courtney Courtney threw on a pink bikini for another yacht excursion. I was like, this is so stupid. But anyway, this is this is what the kids are talking about, ladies and gentlemen. So if the kids are talking about it, we're talking about it because we want to go where the kids are to to give the message of liberty where the kids are. And if the kids are in butts, God, then we're in there butts. is there is no more cringeworthy clause in the English language than message of liberty. Like message you already, of liberty, you already of sound like shitty t- televangelists and timeshare salesmen at it as it is. Now you're I am talking an ice cream salesman. You have to personally accept the message of liberty into your heart <laughs> and wake up face new hampshire about... do your morning prayer now actually if you really want to get it right you're gonna the message of true authentic liberty that's what you see you gotta you gotta you why gotta did you say it in a bernie sanders voice that that seemed a little incongruous i, I don't but think that, I that was his but, but okay i i didn't get the bernie Sa- i i free I, contradictions i, I yes <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm for liberty uh, for everyone collectively who agrees to give me the stop collectively. That's what I'm for. I'm Bernie Sanders. And I'm going to end this story by being Bernie Sanders and closing out this story. This story is done. Ladies and gentlemen, 